what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another tutorial video for grounded if you're new here subscribe drop a like if this video definitely helped you but today I'm gonna be talking about how to kill a spider easily now I have recently had some success killing some spiders on stream if you guys haven't checked out my stream be sure to tune in I stream around 10 p.m. every day but without further ado, let's get into some tips on how to kill some spiders. So my first tip for you guys is the type of armor that you should be wearing when fighting a spider. Now, the best armor that I have the best results with so far is actually the ladybug armor. But the acorn armor works just as well. Now, the benefits of both, the acorn armor does give you more health when fighting the spider but the ladybug armor gives you more blocking strength which I will be talking about later on in the video but blocking is actually an important part of fighting the spider and not only that the ladybug armor does give you more armor more defense than the acorn armor does so play around with both see which one works best for you I personally prefer the ladybug armor that's what I've been having the most success with but the acorn armor can work just as well if used properly. So the next tip I have for you guys here is the best weapon to use to fight the spiders. Now, it's not even close. There should be, shouldn't be any other weapon that you should be using other than this weapon, which is the insect axe, which you can see in my inventory in the number one slot. Um, this is the weapon to be using when fighting anything, to be honest. There's really no reason to use any other weapon at the moment. There's not an, enough enemy types, in my opinion, to warrant using the different weapons. The Insect cl Club is the best weapon hands down in the entire game. The stun is maxed out on it, meaning that after every three or four hits, the insect that you are fighting will be stunned and the damage is pretty decent compared to every other weapon in the game this is hands down the weapon you should be using not only for the spiders just for anything in general it is the best weapon in the game so on to the third tip guys this has to do with blocking now if you guys don't know you can actually do what's called a perfect block or parry and you won't take any damage from attacks so what that means is as you can see in the clip of me fighting a spider you don't take any damage if you time your block correctly now i did fail many times in the clip here it is kind of difficult to do but once you get the timing right you can fight the spider without taking any damage you can fight practically any insect without taking any damage all you have to do is time it properly if you guys have played any games like ghost of tsushima or any other games with parrying in it you know that once you do parry you don't take any damage and you're free to get a couple hits on the spider or any other enemy this is extremely useful because the spiders do a ton of of damage with a single hit the wolf spider can actually pretty much one shot you if you don't have the correct armor on so blocking is a must pairing is a must there's no way you're gonna kill a spider without pairing there's just no way they do too much damage the orb weaver pairing doesn't matter as much because they don't do as much damage as the wolf spider but still do have the highest that one of the highest damage outputs in the game so I highly recommend practicing parrying before you fight a spider because it will save your life. Now onto the fourth tip here guys, after you got your inventory set up, after you master parrying, the one other thing that you need to be aware of is the timing of your attacks. Now between attacks with both spiders, you are able to get one hit in. If you try to squeeze in two hits, you'll most likely get hit from the spider you most likely take damage from the spider that's just the way the timing of their attacks work now if you have the ant club you can actually stun the the spider and you'll be able to get in an extra three to four hits depending on how your stamina meter is doing i definitely would not try to squeeze in the two hits if you're not a master at parrying you can get the second hit off 
you just need to be ready to parry right away so if you're more on the safe side and you just want to kill the spider i definitely recommend only hitting once between attacks because you can definitely hit them once and get a parry off and then after three to four hits they'll be stunned and then you can squeeze in an extra three or four hits so my fifth and final tip for you guys is don't give up I can't tell you how many times that I've died fighting a spider or lived my life in fear of the spiders while playing the game and running away at any spider that I see until finally I said you know what let's kill some spiders and once you get that fear out of your system you should be able to kill a couple of spiders squash a couple of spiders be prepared to die multiple times parrying is not easy you will get it though you get the timing down trust me when I first started par parrying I could not get the timing down for the life of me what I usually do is I just tap right click multiple times right before I know the an insect is about to attack and usually I get the parry in that's a quick little tip if you guys need help mastering parrying but you will die multiple times <laughs> believe me don't give up you will kill them and then you'll be able to call yourself a master spider killer like me but that's it for this one guys if you follow this guide you will kill some spiders trust me it works if this helped you at all smash that like button hit that subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace